Hey guys, this is Lancer. Welcome you back to more Castlevania Legends for the Nintendo Game Boy, and I believe this is the Clock Tower. Because, you know, every Castlevania has to have a Clock Tower. Well, most of them do, you know. You know, um, SC4 does, Castlevania 3 does, uh, you know. Symphony of the Night, freaking hell. All that good stuff. Um, but yeah, this is a clock tower. And yeah, before I started recording this, like, the mic on the headset I was using, like, I did a little test thing, and with Audacity, and it was just, there was static, and I don't know why, and I found out it was because I installed a driver specifically for this headset, which somehow it was supposed to make the mic sound more clear, and yet it added static. So I just uninstalled it, and now it's fine. I don't understand that. What was the point? It's supposed to make it better, not worse. I don't get it, dude. But whatever. I took to care of business, so it's all good. And again, since this is kind of like an you know, upwards room, the whole respawning aspect is going to be the most annoying thing. That thing, the whole re re respawning enemies when you move up, is... I would have to say it's probably the most annoying part of this entire game. It is a, it, it is a mechanic that is just so annoying. I'm taking so much damage, but we got the ice to heal. Because ice heals, apparently. It takes 20 hearts, but it's probably one of the most useful abilities in the game. I mean, you heal! Oh, we got lizard men on crazy. They're actually not that annoying. You, 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 you remember the skeletons that would climb on the ropes and chuck bombs at you? Well, not, not bombs, but bones. They're kind of like that, only nowhere near as annoying, because you can usually take them out. And they can't really jump from rope to rope like the skeletons can. They just kind of slide down a rope, and they're not very good at hitting you, unless you're in a really bad position. So... I think we're pretty much good to go. Dude, what do you think you're doing? Dude, no. Stop doing that. Okay, so this level isn't really too bad other than the whole respawning enemies thing. See, he, he, do you see what I'm saying? I mean, we got away from him before he could do anything, but still, it's it's just the principle. It's so aggravating. What do you want, sir? See, it's, it's, it's like they don't even get at the right position to really hit you. And even if they did, you, you can just destroy their projectiles anyway, so... It's like, I don't see the point. They're just kind of like a failed enemy, really. Probably one of the least threatening enemies in the game, in my opinion. Unless they do that, that's kind of aggravating. But, it's it's totally manageable. Oh great, we got a hunchback. Dude, get away from me. Dude! Please stop! Yeah, the hunchback. I've never found them to be annoying, like, at all. As long as you got the fully upgraded whip. If you don't, then there may be a problem, dude. That was uncool. I like no time to get out of the way. We definitely want to get some hearts so that we can use our heal if we need to, which I'm sure we will. Okay. So many ropes to climb on. Okay. I guess that was worth going down to get. I mean, why not? A heart. A couple enemies respawned out of it, but it wasn't really a big deal. Okay. What do we got here? Oh, meat. Okay. I'll take it. Beats using 20 hearts anyway. Oh, it's a mid boss. This guy's. This guy's pretty easy. Just attack the flames. And he'll kind of go to the other side and just stay far away from where he won't run into you with his long neck. And you should be good to go. You should be good to go. You know what I'm talking about. There you go. Yeah, that's a mid boss. They're like technically a boss, but they're usually not very difficult. You can usually kill them pretty quickly. Lizard man, get out of here. There's a sword and shield at, bro. So we're gonna go over to this side. 
Bum 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 bum. Because we don't even want to have to deal with you. We'll just get you from over here. Ghost, be dancing. I think that was just a heart in the candle on the right side, but I'm not sure. But whatever it is, it's probably not worth getting. Especially since there was like a lizard man up there and all that other garbage. We don't need to concern ourselves with such things. No, we do not. Oh, what? What are you doing, sir? Freaking headset's turning to fall off my head while I'm trying to do stuff. You want to go over here first? I believe this is where the special item is. And a bone totem. I'm just gonna call them bone pillars. Because totem just sounds weird. Pillar's better. You know it is. Okay, so we want to go up here. That's where the item is. If you keep going left, I think it's just a dead end. With enemies, so not much point. Oh god. Ow! What are you doing? Leave me alone! And the uh, smoke alarm's going off. It's pretty cool. Someone's probably burning some food. Okay. And it's still gonna go off? That's nice. I guess no one's gonna turn it off. It's pretty cool. Okay. There you go. Thank you. I finally decided to... Well, there was some health. And then there's the dagger. That's the dagger. We got the dagger now! That's usually like the first sub weapon you find. But we got it, it's all taken care of. And let's not fall into the spikes. That wouldn't be good! Okay, now I need to head back to the previous room. Like I said, don't go left, I think it's just a dead end. I'm gonna go this way. Sonya's gonna head over in this direction. Ow! Can you hit me from there? You're like under the castle wall brick thing. Come on, man. Okay. Ah, what the? Dude, stop doing that. It's very redundant and obnoxious. Freaking respawn and go. Dude, seriously. Stop. That is a real annoyance. What were they thinking? Did they really think that would be a good thing to include in the game? Oh boy. Yeah, so here, here we got like the real clock tower section. Got cogs and these little wheel things you can step on and craziness. Of course, bayets. We got bayets. Get it. What the? Dude, that was cheap. We're gonna have to use some ice now. There it is. You gotta love it. I just wish it didn't take 20 freaking hearts. But, they basically do that so you don't completely abuse it. I just landed right on the fireball, of course. Of course I did. Why wouldn't I? And this level does have pretty awesome music, of course. Should mention that. Hey! Freaking, what are you doing? And you're just gonna respawn again, of course. Ugh. Freaking lizard man, get out of the Dude, that was that was just bad. Dude, seriously? Not these ice again. I can't believe this. It's crazy. Seriously, no more respawning. The, there should be like some kind of rule that an enemy can only respawn twice. Twice at the most. Then it just gets completely redonkulous and it's just, uh, God, dude, don't land on it. Okay. What do we got? What do we got? Trying to think of what the boss is. Oh, I know what the boss is. This boss is extremely easy. Especially if you have KO Ken mode. Right, Ray? That's right, KO Ken mode. That's what I'm officially calling it from now on. 
It's just too broken, especially for this boss. For every boss, but this boss, I mean, this boss is, isn't really very hard without it. Of course, I'm still gonna use it to annihilate said boss because, yeah. Because it's fun. There we go. Now, what are you doing, sir? Okay. okay. The boss room should be coming up. I think it's like the next room or something. I, I thought it was going to be this room, but obviously not. But we should be very close. Why do I always jump right into you? Like, every time. We're not going to need ice, but... We have it just in case. Just want to come up here and stuff happens. Yes, it's death. It's death, and he's extremely easy. Just go nuts on him. He basically just kind of floats from one side of the screen to the other and throws his sights at you, and that's about it. Eh. I did a pretty crummy job, but that's okay. He's almost dead anyway. So that's death. Probably the easiest death fight ever. Except for Castlevania 2, of course, but yeah. Good stuff.